My earliest tennis memories are when I was a six-year-old girl. I found the tennis racket of my mom, an old wooden racket with a spanner around it. I found that on the ceiling and I asked my mom, what is this? What do you do with it? So she told me her tennis history and she gave me a racket and a ball, put me in front of a wall and those were my first tennis balls that I hit. In the beginning years, my sister used to take me a lot to practice when I didn't have a driver's license yet. And I used to play a lot of tennis with my brother. And like brothers and sisters do, we fight over the court and you want to win. So he's probably been uh, helping my uh, tennis spirit and my dedication to win. And my parents definitely helped me in showing me at looking what you can achieve and not what you cannot achieve. And they definitely help me in showing that hard work gets rewarded. My biggest rival in my career was uh, Chantal van Dierendong. But at the same time, she was also my biggest mate because we won gold together in Barcelona and we won gold in Atlanta together. And we had a lot of matches um, and in after the change of my game, I became more clear at the number one during years and then Chantal continued after I stopped and then she was number one again. We had a very competitive but really, really good matches and I think we inspired each other and challenged each other to, uh, to play that next level. Challenged each other to um, yeah, to wanting to practice more, to wanting to practice better and to become a better player. Getting inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame means a huge honor to me, an awareness for me uh, and a memory that my tennis career has meant not only something to myself but apparently also to other people. I'm really humbled at the same time that my name is amongst uh, all the grades of wheelchair tennis and tennis players from all over the world and that it will be there forever. Humbled, honored and proud at the same time.